Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another sweet My Dot SketchUp lesson. Today, my friends, we're going to make a car, so let's get cracking. First things first, you need to visit my.sketchup.com. You can do that by typing my.sketchup.com or using the link in the description. When we get there, we're going to do home, create a new file, and we're going to make this one out of millimeters. When it launches, we can click on the person on the screen, click delete and get rid of her, click untitled, click your SketchUp button, and then move down and type car with your initials. I've made one or two, so I'm going to call this car three and hit save here. You'll notice up top it says saving. When it's done, it won't be blue anymore. All right, friends, SketchUp is a click and release program. So notice I'm on the select tool, which the shortcut is the space bar. I'm going to click the rectangle tool and look at that finger. It comes off the mouse. That's why I'm showing you this. It's because I've seen a lot of people struggle with it. I'm going to click and release to grab a rectangle. I am going to click on the origin and release. That finger is off. And then I'm going to type 150 comma 70 and press enter. That's how you make a rectangle to exact measurements. It's the let go part that lets us type it. I'm going to switch views to the extents and then I'm going to use the scroll wheel to roll back. You could click the orbit tool. You could press your scroll wheel in or you can hit the letter O to switch and be able to just drag with your mouse. Notice I'm pushing down when I do that. Our car is going to be really simple. We're going to first click on the line tool and we're going to move to the midpoint. Notice it gives us that cyan color and then we click and let go. See that fingers away. Move to the other side and find the other midpoint and click and make it permanent. I'm going to then cut off any part I want for my front windshield, any part I want for my back windshield. I'm going to use E for eraser, which I could have just clicked it. And then I'm going to click right on the corner and it gets rid of all of that at once. If you miss, you just click and do it twice. I'm going to also erase this one right here. I'm going to switch to push pull, but I'm going to use the shortcut P to switch. I'm going to lift a little. Notice that finger comes off and I'm going to type 55 for the distance I want that to be. Right there is my car body shape. We need to rotate our car so we can see it better. I'm going to click on the select tool hit the letter O so I can orbit and get so I can see my whole vehicle. I'm gonna to switch to the select tool and I'm gonna grab everything. This is important that you've got it all selected. You could also do control A. I'm gonna to switch to the move tool and I'm gonna to switch to rotate. I'm gonna click on the origin so that the red side is facing forward. You don't want the other ones. And then I'm gonna click on the top edge. So notice it was two clicks and then it lets me rotate it so I can lay it down. I'm going to click to make it permanent, switch back to the select tool, grab everything again, and this time I'm going to do move. I'm going to go to the midpoint and I'm going to move that to the origin. Just like that, friends, you have made a sweet little car. I'm going to hit O for orbit and drag so I can look at it from the side. All right, friends, let's click back on our select tool, which is also the space bar, and we need to connect this side for our next project. So just use your line tool and connect across, orbit to the other, see the other side. I'm going to hit the letter O so I can just drag and switch. And what we're doing is we're cutting our car's top. I want to make this so it looks a little skinnier on the top side. All right, friends, we need to click twice so we have the top face and its edges selected. Under the Move tool is an amazing tool called Scale. It's got a way for us to scale about the center. So what I want you to do is hold Control and just squeeze in a little bit so that your car has got sloped edges. I'm going to switch to the Select tool, hit the letter O for Orbit, and check it out. Now our car has got a little bit of a cool slope where its windows would be. Let's create our windows super fast, first by taking the pencil, and just coming down midpoint to midpoint and get as close as you can to perfect. I'm going to orbit to the other side by hitting O, rotating, switching back to that line, once again finding that midpoint, guessing on this midpoint. They won't be perfect, but it'll be fine. The shortcut I want you to use right now is F, and it's for offset. 
Remember, we could find it on this tool, but it's so much faster. Notice I clicked and removed, and right now I want you to type the number 5 for how large the offset is. Click the next one. If it accidentally clicks and sticks, just do Control Z to undo. We want to click and leave it adjustable, and I'm going to make my back 5 as well and press Enter. O is for orbit. Let's spin around. Once again, hit F for offset. Let's make a front windshield. I'm going to make this 5 as well. O is for orbit. Spin around. F is for offset. When I type the 5 and press Enter, it snaps to that magic measurement. It was still in offset mode, or the letter F, 5, and Enter. And let's go to the back, and let's make this one 7, so it's got a smaller back window, and press Enter. If they're windows, we need to make them look like glass, so let's click on the materials, click on search, find our materials. The glass is right here. I'm going to choose the blue one, and I'm just going to paint those windows super quick. I'm going to push in with the scroll wheel to orbit, paint, paint, scroll wheel, orbit, paint. Just like that, our car has got pretty sweet windows and a pretty sweet body. Let's hit E for erase and get rid of that center post. I'm going to push in the scroll wheel, or you could use the letter O, and then notice it's that circle that we click on to erase that. Let's paint our car really quick. I'm going to hit the select tool, and I'm going to hide my windows because by doing this, orbit, hide, orbit, hide, orbit, hide, and get the last one, I can paint it all in one step. So right now, if I grab the entire thing, close the glass and mirrors, switch to the colors, I can find an awesome color and paint my car in one click. Now I can hit the views button and unhide everything so my windows are right back where they were when we started. I'm gonna add a cool curve to the front of my car. We can click the arc tool and then this may take you a couple tries, but find a spot that you can click on, then click on the front edge and make sure you come up and at least touch the front of your car. Notice I got that tiny piece that's hanging off. That's perfect, I can erase that. So now it goes from end to end, there's no gaps. And then when I switch to push pull, I can push this across. Notice I go all the way to that end point and it cuts it off and now my car's got a sweet rounded front end. I'm gonna leave my back end straight so that way I can tell them apart better. And now I'm gonna take my car, grab it all, and I'm gonna make it a group so that it's one piece and nothing else we build actually interacts with it. They can sit on it, but they won't become part of it. Our car looks pretty sweet, but if you see in there, there is a blue piece that we really don't want. If we double click, we can edit the car and I'm gonna right click to hide this piece of blue and I'm gonna right click to hide the window. And now I can click on that flat piece that was across my entire car where the seats would go. I'm gonna hit delete and now you can see in the car better. And when we click outside, it comes back. Notice our stuff is hidden. To bring that back, we do have to edit and we have to unhide it. Then we can put it away. Now we will hide that again in a minute, but at least we know we have to double click to make that happen. Friends, it is time to add seats to our car. Simply grab the rectangle, and then I want you to type 30 comma 20. It should make a rectangle that goes the same direction as our car. Then we can switch to push pull with the letter P, or you can click the tool. I want you to lift it up 15 and press enter. Near the back, I want you to find a spot for the top of the seat draw a line across it. Once again, you can press L to hit the line tool. P is for push pull, and we're gonna push pull 25 high for that. We are gonna switch to the move tool. I'm gonna use the letter M, and I wanna click just on this blue line. And I'm gonna use the midpoint, and then I can move along that red axis to give it a nice slant. I wanna trim off some pieces of this to make it look cool. So I'm gonna grab the line tool, and I'm just gonna cut somewhere off the back so people have room for their feet. I'm going to use O for orbit, turn so I can see an angle because I wanna see that back corner, P for push pull, and I wanna push this 
red arrow back to that side or one of these. So I'm using a back point as the place that it clips off. I want to also have room for their legs to go over instead of this a sharp edge, so I'm going to trim this as well. Once again, P for push-pull. It was L to get that other tool, and this is easier to see. When I click on this endpoint, you see it slices that off perfectly. I'm going to switch to the space bar, and I'm going to triple click. If you do three clicks fast, one, two, three, it grabs everything, and then we are going to right click and make it a component. I am going to call it seat, and I've made one or two of these while I was finding the perfect version, and tell it OK. I'm going to use the move command to move this little guy inside my car, and I'm going to get him on this edge just the way I would want, but then you can see he's running into the window. So I'm going to click on his little edge, and I'm going to just move it on the green axis when it shows me that. Then I'm going to type 2 for how many millimeters I want it to move that way, and press enter. Notice now it does not stick out through the window anymore. I'm going to make a copy of it, and I'm going to move it across, and I'm going to open up the car so that it's easier. So I'm going to hit space bar, and I'm going to double click and edit my car, and I want to hide all these pieces in the middle. So I'm just going to draw a rectangle that touches them, and I'm going to choose hide. I'm going to draw a rectangle that touches just them, and I'm going to do hide. I'm going to click over here to make that so it stays. Now I'm going to hit M for move. I'm going to grab a corner on my seat and tap control so it's making a copy. Once again, I can move it all the way to the edge, and then I can grab back here and move it on the green axis, type the number 2, and press enter to lock it into place. I want a bench seat in the back. I'm going to make that with this same piece by doing control and moving a copy out, but then I'm going to explode it. So I'm going to hit the space bar, right click, and I'm going to explode that part because I don't want it to be the same size as these other seats. I do want it to be a bench seat, so I'm going to hit P for push-pull, and I'm going to pull it across, and I'm going to go another 25 millimeters. I'm going to then triple-click it, one, two, three, so it grabs it all, and I'm going to just make this a group because I'm only going to have one of these. M is for move, and I'm going to move it back to that edge where I want it, I'm going to take a look at where it turned out. That's pretty good. It's a little too far back, so I'm going to move it forward. That's better. And then once again, I'm going to move it across, and you can see the green line poking through the car. And I know I want to move it in two millimeters. And then I'm going to hit space bar, and I'm going to hide this side so I can edit that even easier. So I'm going to double click to edit this part, right click, hide that side, click somewhere to make it permanent. Now I can click on this choose S for scale, and I want to find the middle, not the edges, not the bottom. I want to find the middle, and I just want to scale it out to where it's going to be at the exact spot I want. And I'm watching. I can see it poke through up at the top, so I'm going to stop right there. Now I think it looks pretty sweet on both sides, and I can double click on my shape, click the display button, and bring back all my hidden parts so that we can finish our sweet car. All right, friends, this is one of my favorite things. It's time to paint those inside. I'm gonna right click and hide the car, and because we made this a component, I can double click to edit it. I can move to my materials. I can pick a cool color. I'm gonna go into the carpet, and I'm gonna cover mine with this dark gray. Notice when I paint this one, so I could paint it one piece at a time, or if I do space bar, I can triple click to select it all, and I can paint it in one quick click. I'm going to hit my select tool, which is the space bar, and you can see those turned out good. And then I'm going to edit this one. Remember, it is a group, so we can double click it. And then I'm going to triple click, one, two, three, and I'm going to add that same color to the back seats. Click my select tool, and boom, our car is painted. I'm going to return to the display button, and let's quickly do unhide all. How sweet is that? It is never a bad time to hit save so you don't lose anything. Also, if you haven't noticed, these are undo and redo. Out on the front, let's draw a headlight. Just click and draw whatever size you want. You know you need two of them. I'm going to actually type five millimeters, so mine turns out that size. P is for push-pull, and I'm going to pull it out two millimeters. I want the edge to be gray, so I'm going to go back to my paint, 
and I'm gonna choose a gray for the edge. I want the front to be yellow. Let's scroll up and find a cool yellow. So if we click one piece of that, right click, choose edit, and do all connected, it grabs that whole part, and we can do make component. I'm gonna put HL for headlight, tell it okay. And then if I do move, I can go to that front edge, tap move, and just move it along, and boom, you've got two instant headlights. Once again, the nice thing about the headlight is if you select tool, double click, pick a different color for one, it paints the other one as well. Let's go back to the back and add a quick tail light. I'm gonna draw these with a rectangle. Once again, click, stretch, draw whatever size you want. P for push pull, pull it out two millimeters. I'm gonna press enter. I'm gonna do that same click once, right click, select, and we want all connected, and we're gonna make it a component as well. This will be TL for tail light. I'm gonna do M for move, and I'm gonna just move from this corner to this corner. Tap control so that they're both a match. I'm not gonna worry about lining them up perfectly because really I'm just more interested in you having all these skills. Let's double click and edit the one, and I'm gonna paint orange on the front, and I'm gonna paint the gray out on the edges. This one I'm going to have to spin around so I can see underneath. Remember, you can push in your scroll wheel and look under so you can see those other corners. Click somewhere else to make it permanent, and boom, you've got an awesome little car with sweet little headlights, taillights, and seats. All right, friends, it's time to add wheels to our cars. Once again, we're going to design one wheel and add it to the rest of the car when we're done. Click on the rectangle tool and choose your circle. Find the spot where you want to put your wheel. I'm going to just go back close to where my edge of my seat would be. And then I'm going to tell you that 15 is a good wheel size for our vehicle. Once again, we're going to do space bar. We are going to triple click that and we're going to make it a component. I'm going to call it wheel. And then I'm going to double click to get in and edit it. I'm going to do push pull and I'm gonna pull it out 12 millimeters. I'm gonna to move to the offset tool with the letter F, and I'm gonna make the wheel width whatever I think looks cool. I'm gonna hit push pull again after I click and set that down, and I'm gonna push it in just a little bit. I'm gonna do space bar, and I'm going to triple click. When it's all selected, I'm gonna to go to my colors, and I'm gonna find a black paint and make my tire nice and black. Click somewhere else and set it down. I want the inside of that to be gray, so I'm gonna double click it, and I'm gonna click the inside piece and paint it like that. I think that looks even cooler. You may want tad texture so that it's gray on the outside as well. So you've got different combinations of how you can make your tires look more awesome. You can add any colors you want as you make it look as sweet as you want. I'm going to select somewhere else to make it permanent. I'm going to do M for move. I'm going to click on the bottom edge, tap control to make a copy, zoom out so I can see where I want to put it, and I'm going to just put it like that. Let's do space bar and click on the first one. Hold shift and click on the second one. Do M for move and I'm gonna grab this outside edge. Start moving it, but tap control. When it shows it's on the green axis, I'm gonna set it extra far away. And then I'm gonna zoom so I can see that side and connect it better. If I grab this edge, it's real easy to keep it on that green axis and just snap it right in place. So we need to flip these so they're the other way. Watch how cool this is. If you go from the right to the left, anything you touch gets selected. If I go from the left to the right, nothing gets selected. So there I just grab those two shapes, tap M for move, and if we just click this rotation handle right here, you can flip them over and get them perfect. I went one click too far, I can just bring it back like that. Spacebar, click, and check out our sweet little car. 
friends, it's never a bad time to hit save. Let's hit that again. All right, friends, so there you have it, a sweet little car. I am going to call it done at this point. Uh, we've put a lot of time in it, and hopefully you've learned a lot of skills and mastered a lot of shortcuts. You can still add cool things like a spoiler. You can change anything you want. You can have brake lights, tail lights. You can even add a license plate. I just recommend everything you do. You either make as a group or a component so it's easier to place it where it goes. Friends, if you do make something awesome, don't forget you can export as a PNG and you can actually send me a link of what you made. You can find me at HLModTech on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. You can also send an email. I am HLModTech at Gmail. Or you can visit and use the messaging at HLModTech.com. Of course, friends, if you found the video useful, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.